Double Critical Saiyans is now affiliated with Big Orbit Cards. So you now can get your sealed products and singles if you click the link in the description box below. So enjoy guys. Hi everyone, Jared from Double Critical Saiyans here and today I'm going to show you guys my Piccolo deck profile. Uh, so first of all, I've been so excited to play this deck. Like, uh, it took a little while to finish and that bugged me. But here we go. So start with Piccolo's got the kind of bog standard for like energy leaders, I wanna call them. So when he attacks the leader he draws a card and then on the four life, left life he awakens by tapping two into Piccolo <coughs> Comic Successor. And as you can see by this one we got some foiling on it. Which is also nice. Because he's just an uncommon leader. Uh, so He's got the opponent of Bond 2 with the Mechian, so if you have two Mechians out on the... Well, two or more Mechians out onto the battle area, he gains critical. And also, when this card attacks, you draw a card, then choose up to one Mechian in the battle area and it gains 5,000 power for the turn. So anything you have yet to swing, you can make a little more powerful, or stuff that just gains power anyway, you can give it that slight bit more, just being ass. Uh, he's also Universe 7, so there's a possibility to use him in Universe 7 decks. Just want to put that out there. Uh, let's go into this one. So, start off with the extra cards. We have four copies of Planet Namek. So, this card's quite crucial to the deck. You really want to see it early game. And so, field. Uh, it's two foils here, in case anyone spots that out. And it has the activating of once per turn, you tap a green energy and choose a card from your hand and discard it. You get to look at the top five cards of your deck and choose it to one the mech in, of an energy cost of two or less from the five, and then play it and shuffle your deck. So it's a good way to get cards out. I fairly often was like playtesting this deck would drop something like Guru and get Guru. So, or you just, the best thing I think to see off this is Nail, because he draws your cards, so being able to get him out for like half the price is good. And next we have four copies of Arna Gates, which is Sacrifice. So Sacrifice comes in the set and the starter deck. Uh, so it's a fair bit of his deck to be honest. But he has, well, it's pay one for a negate, just straight up, but it does have the permanent of if your lead is in the mechian and you activate this card's counter, you may choose a card from your life and add to your hand to pay its energy cost instead. So if you're on five, you want to awaken, but you've got nothing to help you do so, your opponent's going to hit for like a double strike and be like, you know what, I'll just play this, take the life, go to four, and stop the attack. So it's very useful, and obviously we run for it because it's kind of like the thematic theme, well, thematic negate as well. Uh, so next we have three copies of Sensu Bean. So this variant uses a a very small blue engine, but that's because the um, green still is yet to have a very consistent way of untapping its own energy. So for the moment we have Sentry Beam, which everyone knows and loves. It's an active battle. Choose one of your cards, it doesn't have to be the one that's attacking. Uh, it gains 5,000 for the turn and switch two of your energy back to active mode. So we we get back our energy after paying it for like Planet Namek and such. And finally in the extra cards we have three copies of Special Beam Cannon. So again, it's a combo piece, but it's a combo piece for a leader. So if your lead card is Piccolo, it gains 10,000 power for duration of turn, then choose one of your opponent's cards from hand and place it in the drop. So you get some power on your leader attack. Uh, this leader can also give power something else, so it's gaining 10k, you give it something 5k. It's probably got critical at the same time. And you get to dump a card from your opponent's hand if you don't negate the attack. 
So it's pretty good. Uh, only run free because you don't want to max on this, you want to have stuff in the deck and three is a pretty good number, you're bound to use all three or at least one or two. So it's not a big loss. Uh, moving on to the battle cards and starting with our one drops we have three copies of Gift of Power Guru. Uh, foil. <laughs> I gotta find my foils, just to point that out. Um, so yeah, Guru is a 101k power, so obviously not made for fighting. He has the ability of active main once per turn, choose one of your battle cards and gains 5,000 for a duration of turn. So, very good to see off Planet Namek, because you can bring this out and give something 5k. Uh, only run the free because four is a bit excessive in this deck and because all it's doing is giving me 5k it's not like um, Vidal which came out the same set and drawing you a card it's not worth having a huge number of so but it's still worth playing and it's just a generally good green card in all fairness because it's not saying choosing the mech it's saying choose a battle card uh, so next we have four copies of Kind Hearts in the Mech in Dende. So, Dende is our one drop search for deck. So, as always, when you play one of these guys, you look at the top three. Uh, Dende picks in the Mech in as it's your hand in the shuffle. So, very useful. If you see it on Planet Namek, you get to do like two searches in one, which is helpful as hell. And finally, in the one drops, we have four copies of Newfound Power Sun Gohan. So Gohan is our self awakener of the deck, besides sacrifice, but he's supposed to be our go to. Because he has the also ability of when this card attacks, you choose one card in your life at your hand. If you do so, it gains ten thousand power and critical for duration of turn. So in Spirit of Carver, it's taking it on the attack to gain ten K, putting it at fifteen, but this time with a crit instead of double strike, so it's pressure on your opponent. It's self awakening and it's just generally useful. It's a very good card and I'm glad that he added it to green because all we had until now was TN. Great work there. How often do we see TN in green decks? Being sarcastic. <laughs> I'm British, it's what we do. Uh, so moving on to the two drops. So looking at perspective of my deck, there's a lot of it that's just like one and two. <laughs> uh, anyway, so we have four copies of Nailed and the Mechian Ace. Let's bring it up into shot a bit more. So Nail, uh, crucial to this deck. I'd say arguably crucial to any the Mechian build at four, like. Three at minimum, two at a push, depending on you, what you're playing or how you're playing it. Because um, of his ability, so he's 2 drop 10k. He has also a bond too, so if you have two more battle cards, it can include himself and one other card. Just to point that out, that is a thing with bond, which I have been double checking, just to make sure I'm not screwing up effects. Uh, so when this card attacks, you draw a card. And then it gains 5k. So it can hit an awakened leader, provided they haven't powered up somehow. Uh, you draw a card. You could potentially restand it with another ability to do that again. If you see it on Planet Namek, you're paying 1 energy to do this all. If you're powering up in any other way, it's like 20k, 25k. It doesn't even need to do double strike, it just needs to be a threat. Like it's a tiny bit of pressure. But it's a way to build up your hand, and the more nails you have, the better because you can just keep drawing and drawing, playing out more cards, playing out more nails if you're that lucky. So, very crucial. And he's only rare, so it's not super difficult to get a hold of him. I'm gonna say it like that because of our box openings, I'll probably get a stare. So, yeah, you want to run him if you're playing the Mechans. Uh, so next we have our super combo, 
which obviously is that always that fall off and it's Namek Endurer Snell. So like I said Snell super combo so he's two drop 12k and when you combo with this card if your leader is a green Namekin and your life is at five or less you draw a card and gain 10k so helpful because you get him at five life. Uh, it is stuck to Namekin so you can't just be like oh well it's universe six can't I? Like no. Nope. Uh, yeah, it's just helpful. You can play him off Planet Namek if you really want, just to guarantee getting a super combo. I've done that a couple of times. You just gotta be sure to use them quickly because your opponents will kill super combo on board if they can, because then it's a waste of a super combo. And finally, in the two drops, a um, bit of a weird choice considering it's set one. We have three copies of Taunting Piccolo. So, as you can see, Taunting Piccolo doesn't have a lot to him. He's 2 drop 10k and he's blocker. Uh, there's a few reasons I run him. First and foremost, he's blue, so it's another target for Sensu Bean. And he's a free combo cost. On Planet Namek, you can play this guy as well. So you could chuck, uh, you could play a green energy bring out a blue card which is a bit funny but it's also a free blocker so you gotta keep that in mind you'd see playable blocking from Planet Namek of a different energy colour so it kind of catches your opponents off as well and that's why I run it because it's free blocker I can play it out I can use it as a combo piece I can use it as a energy card it's just got a lot of utility in this deck so, but we don't run more than three just because of spacing. So, moving on to the three drops. Again, another blue card. We have three copies of Focus Mind Piccolo. So, Focus Mind comes from Taunt Power Set. He's a 3k, a 15, oh, it's three drop 15k. I don't know why I said the other way around. Uh, he's got Block and Barry. And during your opponent's turn, if you have 4 more energy, he gains 5k. So he becomes a 20 blocker. Um, you can't play him out the same way as Taunted Piccolo, but there is another way you can play him out, which I'll get into later. And again, it's just having a blocker that's Namekian. And this one's actually quite strong, so it's like twice as powerful as a Taunted Piccolo. It's just a tiny bit hard to bring out, but not impossible. And Finally in the three drops we have three copies of Kami the Watcher or Bling. So Kami is a three drop 10k. Um, he has a permanent of a bond to with Namekians. So if you have two or more Namekians out in play you can reduce the energy cost from your card in your hand by two. So in hand he becomes a one drop. And when you play this card you draw a card so you would make sure you have more than two Namekians out just as a backup. Play Kami, draw a card, Kami becomes a utility combo piece. Like you don't need them to attack anything unless you just want to do a bit of pressure. So, going into the big guys of the deck. Uh, four drop, we have four copies of uh, Kami's Power Piccolo. So Kami's Power Piccolo is just a generally good green card and like I said he's kind of like the big guy of this deck alongside another one but I'll show you in a second. So Kami's Power Piccolo is 4 drop 20k, he has barrier and double strike so your parent can't get rid of him that easily and he has the active main once per turn on 2 so like Nail there's 2 cards or himself and another card who can activate his face. You choose one of your opponent's battle cards and KO it. So this is just a generally good green card because it allows you to kill something. You can play it out fairly easily. You don't have to put a lot of effort into its requirements for the effect. So, and yeah, it's just a very good card, very powerful. Uh, if you can get the double strike pressure, you just combo into it for that reason. And the final card of the deck, which we run four of, 
is our 5 drop Reign of Terror King Piccolo. So Reign of Terror King Piccolo is a 525k, is dual attack, so the standard of swing, stand, swing, and he has this very useful active main which allows us to get into um, two cards which I will put aside for you now. So his active main, <coughs> you place this card in your drop area, choose it to one of your energy and switch it to active mode, then choose one Piccolo or Piccolo Junior with an energy cost of four or less from your hand and play it. So you get the two attacks off this guy, you re like you untap one of the energy that you've used to pay for him. Uh, if you time it right like I tried to do, you would awaken when you go to do this so that you get free energy back. And then you can bring out one of these guys. Which as I've like I said to you guys before, is powerful. This one being a double strike that kills stuff, this one just being a very good blocker. It depends what's more useful at the time. Uh, nine times out of ten I go for this guy, but if I'm not necessarily needing him but needing the defence, Focus Mind comes out. Uh, so it gives us a lot of like cards we can play. Piccolo doesn't tend to go above four costs. In fact, Kai's power of Piccolo is probably the most expensive we've ever paid for a Piccolo. Ever. So and he's just like he's not our go-to strong guy, but he's very useful. You can power him up, get two very powerful attacks off him, kill him, get an energy, and get a card to play that carries on the attacks. You can bring out a defense. Uh, if you see him in the game, you just charge slash combo him. So, uh, I found this card incredibly useful on this build. And I'd recommend, if you're going down a similar pattern, do run him. At least at three. I've done four because I've made the space and testing this deck out in the past. I have found that I've seen two quite early. I've been holding on to the third one as long as I can. So having that fourth one just eases you a little. But anyway, if that's undone, uh, that is my Piccolo deck profile. So thank you all for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye.